The police service is continuing investigations into persons suspected of being involved in terrorist activity. This from acting ASP Wendell Lucas of the Financial Investigations Branch. He was speaking at today's weekly police press briefing as he addressed concerns about the possibility of terrorist activity in this country. Acting ASP Lucas said the FIB, while it does not investigate crimes involving weapons of mass destruction, it looks into the proliferation of those weapons. Dion Batiste has more in this report. With terrorist activity a major threat around the world, ASP Lucas attempted to clarify the role of the Financial Investigations Bureau. He said the FIB was established in June 2011, with its main remit being the investigation of money laundering, terrorist financing, seizure and forfeiture of the proceeds of criminal activity, and investigations into the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. He said money that seized from suspected money laundering or other criminal activities is placed in an interest account at the central bank where it remains while the Bureau files a forfeiture application with the court. At the completion of the matter, if they, we are successful in bringing a forfeiture application before the court, the money is forfeited to the state and placed into a fund. Um, that obviously is laid out in legislation in the Proceeds of Crime Act. If we are unsuccessful, the money is returned to the person from whom it is seized. Responding to questions on how the state is treating with nationals deported for their suspected involvement in terrorist activity, ASP Lucas said this falls within the remit of the special branch unit within the TTPS charged with investigating terrorism. So they are the unit would be charged with the responsibility in terms of treating those persons who would have returned. Uh, the FIB in its remit can look at their finances to see whether or not um, they do have now uh, any income in their accounts, bank accounts or what have you. And we can also see uh, whether or not uh, they have received monies in the past and so on. Asked if there's anyone currently under investigation for their suspected involvement in terrorist activity, ASP Lucas remained tight-lipped but conceded that such investigations were ongoing. These matters, he said, stem from suspicious activity reports forwarded from the Financial Intelligence Unit. ASP Lucas said each case is examined individually and a determination made in due course. Dion Batiste, C News.